Okay, we've um, back in the dyno room. This time a bit different. Uh, we've run in the camshaft, as you would have seen in the other video. Just at um, around about 2,000 revs for around about 20 minutes with uh, a few revs every now and then. Get the uh, oil pressure up and splashing around everywhere and hitting that hot camshaft and actually quenching it and then hardening it. That's how the sort of process works. So. Um, what we've done now to running that with um, our valve springs, we've only got a single spring on, like I assembled the head with, just um, to lessen the tension on the camshaft um, with the double valve springs. It's just a little bit too heavy um, to actually run the cam in on. You find um, it's much more easier on the camshaft until it hardens and. Um, and we go over there. So what we do is um, we've got to pump air into the cylinder to um, actually keep the valves from um, falling into the cylinder. So I've just made up just um, a spark plug here. We've just got a spark plug, taken the porcelain out of it and the, the guts out of it. Um, I've just got an actual old gudgeon pin, welded it to the end of the... Um, spark plug and then just uh, tapped in a few fittings with different uh, types and um, extensions and an air fitting on the end so we just wind that in I've just got an o-ring there to seal up so we don't have to screw it right up so we just wind that in all right both our valves are closed because we've got no rockers or push rods now all right so we just do that up hand tight and we'll get some um, air into it. <coughs> now um, what I've done to lever the valve springs off, you can buy a few things that actually Bryce he made up quickly. Um, I don't like working on cars so I don't like, I've never really changed valve springs on cars. I don't, I don't even bend over my own, guard of my own car. So um, what we'll do is just knock this up and all it is is just a, like a lever arm. We've got a hole going into this uh, for the screw and stud and I just use a posi lock and with the posi lock too. Once you get your right height, your leverage, you can actually wind down your, your grub screw and use that as a stop. Like that, okay. I'll just set this up here. It's a bit hard, um, one-handed. I'll just close up on there so you can have a good look at it. All right. And all we do is just leave it down on it and just get one collet. And we'll just swing that one around. Beautiful. And then what we do now, because there's a fair bit of tension on that, is just undo the positive lock. Like that. Beauty nuke. Alright, we'll just go over and grab our one of our swing. We had about um, 90 psi just with a single spring. Now we've um, got, got um, with the double in there now is uh, about 125, 130. When the uh, valve's closed, um, you can see the yeah, the racing uh, valve ten seals, the Teflon rubber Teflon seal powered seals that we machined earlier on. Seems like ages ago. So what we'll do is. Put our spring on and that retainer. Oh, just like positioning. Yeah. Yeah, jigger jigger. Special tool 007 dash 10. Just for marketing. Do up our posi lock again.
like that. Beautiful. And just position that down and we'll just lean back on the on the lever. It's just pushing the valve over a little bit, so we'll just back it off. This is the first one I've set up, so it's a bit of mucking around until I get the right height on my um, posi lock. Right, that is one. Let's go. go back of the tray there and grab the other collar. And the other sliding in. And that's her. Like that. And not. And there you go, job done. Just got 15 more to go. Lovely. Well, we've got to um, finish doing these other 15 and get the rockers back on and I'll have to adjust all the lifter preloads, go through that. And we'll get him started up again and um, we'll go for a, we'll bed in the rings next and then might have a few uh, Dino lashes, eh? Have a few runs. We won't want to um, rev the living Christ out of it. Um, you know, they're still tight for 10,000 k, so um, they just keep getting better and better, a new engine. So, um, yeah, we'll give it a few a few runs, see what it does, and um, see what she's got in store for Craig. There you go. Those are the heads and race engines.